This leafy evergreen shrub is Salvadora persica. This mass of tangled greenery exists as a source of food, a lifeline, a home, and a sanctuary within the desert. Yet this environment, teeming with trees and birdsong, does not evoke the stereotypical desert image. Nevertheless, this abundance of life occurs within one of the driest places on Earth. This is the Quiseb River. A sandy channel that slices through the central Namib desert of Namibia. Following tremendous rainfall at the river's catchment area, some 200 kilometers away, flow will occasionally reach the central Namib Desert. This flooding then seeps under the sand into the hidden subterranean world of the alluvial aquifer, enabling a profusion of plant life within the desert. Deep roots deliver revitalizing water to the plants of this linear oasis. Let us scale down perspective, say, to the size of these foraging termites. Salvadora becomes a thriving biometropolis. Basking in sunlight, the exposed outer leaves and flowers form the suburbs. Berries provide food, an avian emporium. Stems, roots and branches stabilize the surrounding sandy substrate enabling various creatures to construct their burrows, the subterranean dwellings and catacombs of Salvadora City. Branches become bridges. And in the deep interior, a tangled labyrinth of dark and weaving passages. In and around Salvadora, termites wander back and forth along thoroughfares, foraging abundant detritus to replenish their food stocks.
Here on the outskirts of Salvadora City, termite soil dumps protrude from the earth. The termites continually expand their nest, shoveling soil from the depths to the surface, damp year-round from the Quisep River's underground aquifer. Namib dunants suck the moisture from the freshly excavated soil. The termites are providing a way for other insects to access the underground water, otherwise unobtainable. The dunants share liquid with each other by a regurgitation process known as trophallaxis. This fly also capitalizes on the rare source of moisture. Other ant species, and even beetles, quench their thirst at these termite-constructed oases. This world of the small often goes unnoticed. Let us scale down perspective even further, smaller than the realm of the termite. To the really small, a single Salvadora bush can seem monumental, their entire observable universe. When Salvadora's minute flowers are magnified to a microscopic level, tiny insects several millimeters long, thrips, can be seen crawling around. Here in the microscopic world, the termite is a lumbering behemoth dragging gargantuan lumps of organic matter. Salvadora entwines acacia trees, tangled and complex, emblematic of the Quiseb's ecological web of interconnections. Tangled and complex, maybe, yet the ecosystem functions, a pulsating organic machine. The Earth teems with life, and a biological metropolis can be found in the most unlikely of places. All we have to do is look.